Hi, and welcome to today's tech tip on how to accurately test two-wire permanent magnet cam and crank sensors. We're going to demonstrate this procedure with the sensor off the vehicle so you can get a better detailed look on how to properly do this. When you're testing two-wire permanent magnet cam or crank sensors, there's a couple options that you have as far as how you get into the circuits themselves. One option is that you could back probe the circuits individually with back probe pins. The second option that you have is that you can actually pierce the wires individually and go across the sensor. One of the mistakes that gets made is that the ground lead gets connected to the negative battery post. In order to test two wire permanent magnet sensors correctly, you need to go across the leads with your lab scope in order to get the right signal, in order to read the right amplitude from the sensors. It will show an incorrect amplitude if you use the negative battery post. Let's now take a look at what we discussed previously when we were connected to the sensor. The difference between hooking up your negative lead from your scope to the negative battery post or connecting it across the sensor. The first example that you see is that we take the negative lead of our lab scope and connect it to the negative battery post and then we go in with the positive lead of our lab scope into the signal wire. I want you to take a look, I'm going to zoom in, and take a look at the total amplitude when, you're, when you have the lead connected to the negative battery post. The total amplitude in this example is only 6 volts. And if you notice that the voltage is going from 6 to 0 volts. This is a permanent magnet sensor that produces AC voltage, and we're not seeing the true AC voltage by connecting a negative lead to the negative post of the battery. Now, let's look at the example where we're going across the sensor with our leads, indicated by the diagram on the right-hand side of your screen. Let's zoom in and let's see what we actually have. Now, we do have a zero reference point, and you could see that the amplitude has doubled. We have six volts positive and six volts going negative. That is a significant difference on testing these two-wire permanent magnet sensors. Hopefully you now have a good understanding on why it's so important to make sure that your lab scope leads are correctly connected to a two-wire permanent magnet cam and crank sensor. Thank you for joining us for this tech tip. See you in the next one.